I'm Diane Johnson and I live in Oakland, California. I'm a recent graduate of Pacific School of Religion with an MDiv and I'm on my way to being an ordained United Church of Christ minister. And uh, I think one of the things that's extraordinary about Wild Goose is it's this this meeting place of people who are passionate about social justice and people who are delighted in music and art and culture and people who are driven, called by faith. And that intersection is an incredibly, incredibly unique and special place. So this is my first a Wild Goose and meeting people in when I was volunteering or meeting people at going to sessions, there's just this phenomenal, phenomenal opportunity to connect in ways that we don't get to connect in the outside outside world. I mean, sometimes we do, um, and that's, uh, you know, that happens sporadically, but what's amazing about Wild Goose is almost every conversation that I've had is this incredible connection about talking about race and social justice or talking about, you know, the, 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 the spiritual and the religious left or the ability to talk about how it's so critical that we sing and we have arts and movement in our lives. So that, the, the combination of all of those elements is really special. It's really, really, really special. And so now I understand why people are like, oh, I've gone once, so I had to go back. I have to come back every year because I'm now one of those people. So how I discovered Wild Goose is that, so part of my um, work, what would actually motivated me to go to seminary has been this nexus of spirituality and social change. And so uh, an event that Rosalie um, also helped produce is called SOCAP, which is Social Capital Markets. And last year, for the first time, they had a track, and, and the, it's organized by tracks of interest. And for the first time, they had a track for faith leaders, which included um, folks who were also involved in, in seminary, whether they were faculty or um, students. And so, going to that, at going to that event met all these people who had just come back from Wild Goose. And I was like, what's Wild Goose? It's like, oh, it's this really great festival. You know, we were having having conversations about faith and action. I was like, and, and music and, and cart culture. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so that's how I came here. And, and so mind you, I live in Oakland. So it was a little bit of a, you know, slap <laughs> to get here. And I, it, it, that's, oh my gosh, I hadn't thought about it until just now. It feels like this really cool pilgrimage. You know, it's this, and, and that, and oh, that's what it is, because, and that people, like, literally come as pilgrims here every year to Wild Goose, because I've met so many people who, I'm like, I'm alone, like a lone person in the, in the wilderness, because I'm the one progressive person in my town in South Carolina or North Carolina or, you know, Alabama or whatever, and they, and they pilgrim, that's so cool, and they make the pilgrimage here to Hot Springs, because this is the place that allows them to be their whole selves and to talk about their values and talk about how that they know that their faith and their the, what they want to create in the world um, and it needs to be fed and so coming here we we get inspired and we get we get our we get our mind stretched you know like Oliver Wendell, Wendell Holmes says that a, a mind stretched by um, inquiry never returns to its original shape I'm paraphrasing but but, but that's what it has so our mind get stretched and and our hearts get stretched and so then we get to we're, we're full up until the next year awesome <laughs> that was great yeah I really like the camera <laughs>